Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> And the shot rang up. Bang! Hot dog! Hot dog! Don't hesitate! It could be your ticket to a new tomorrow! <laughs> Sing none of it. Oh boy! Hi, 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 <laughs> hi, hi! Hi out there, all you TV audience! How are you doing? Oh, 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 allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Clooney the Clown. How you doing, Clooney? Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Oh, Ram, oh, I love you. Shake my hand again, would you? Oh, gosh. Whoa! 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 <laughs> my name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today is. Celia and Celia's Marinettes. Right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to tell you about Celia's Marinettes. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, would you like to see Clooney do a little dance? So I'm going to get up here sure. and show you what Clooney can do. Get up here a minute. Now, Clooney. Oh, Celia, 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 tell everybody, tell everybody how you made me. Yeah, Ralph, you know I made Clooney. <laughs> I did. You did? I did. You made all these other puppets, too. And I made too. all these marionettes. Yes. Did you see her today? Yeah, yeah. She did. Whoopa, 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 whoopa. And you know, I haven't been doing this very long. No. No. This is a second career for me, isn't it, Clooney? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you used to make costumes in the theater, didn't you? Yeah, I did that for 25 years, and then... One day I just said, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm repeating myself. So I quit. And I wandered around. Yeah, oh, I'm going to sit down because I love to hear this story. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so I wandered around for about three years, Clooney, looking for the right thing to do. And then one day I was just walking down the street. Yeah, yeah. You know what she was doing? She was just walking down the street, Ralph, like this. She was just going, walk, 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 walk. And then she went, wow. You know what? I could go back to when I was a child 
and have a marionette theater and make marionettes and create them. And I just think that's what I'm going to do because, you know, I did that when I was a kid, like 9, 10, 11 years old. I did. And then, oh, yeah, tell her that. Tell them that part. Yeah, I got to be 12 years old. You know? And what happened? Well, at 12, you're not supposed to play with dolls anymore. <gasps> no way! No dolls at 12! <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I was wrong about that, and somebody should have contradicted me and said, you can still play with your dolls. But I said, no, 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 no. And so I put them on a shelf. Yeah, she did, Ralph! I bet oh, they were lonely then. Yeah, for a long, long, <laughs> long, long not quite that long. Well, it was really a long time. You know, and then, and then, I had this white light come to me. And Smackaroo I, bluity. <laughs> and I decided to make puppets. And so, yeah, and so that's what she does now. Hump. So what and do you think? How do you make them? Oh, funny, you should ask that. Would you hand me that bag right there? Well, sure. Oh, good. You know what? I have all these puppeteer friends and people, and they make their puppets out of all these toxic materials. And I like to use non-toxic materials, so I make them out of paper mache. And it's so simple. And here is an example of, this is actually Clooney's head, made out of paper mache before he is painted. You mean there's more than Catch. one of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's more than one. Very interesting that you should say that. How did there get to be more than one Clooney? Well, the way is, I took some clay one day. This is all messed up now because it's been riding around in my barrel. But I took clay and I made Clooney's face out of clay. I sculpted it, mm -hmm. okay? Then I had to cut the poor guy in half. Ah! You got to do that. Yeah, put it down on a table like that. Got a box, put a box around it. Took some plaster of Paris, just your regular old wall repair kind. Pshhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
they talk to me. They, they're all made, finally, and when they're strong, it's not till they're strong that they speak to me, and they really tell me who they want to be. But when I was making Caitlin, she didn't speak to me, so I didn't understand. And then I realized, you know, she doesn't speak with words. She speaks, rather, with her movement. And so now she's going to do a dance for you. And I tell the children, I say now, you have to really watch and really listen to enjoy this dance. Okay. Now we'll have a little music. And this is the Dying Swan Song. we tend to think that we separate our lives, we say, now I am a child, now I'm an adult. And we treat them as not being in the same place. And what I'm trying to do for children is um, inspire them to make things and create theater for themselves so that when they get to be a an adult, they'll have a resource to draw from um, in their creative life. Because, of course, I think creativity and life are one, but that's my particular hang-up. Um, Clooney feels very bad because he did not get to climb his ladder. Could you hand that ladder? Why, sure. Let Clooney. He says, oh, yeah, Cecilia, you didn't let me climb my ladder. 
Yeah, Clooney, let's let you do that. Okay. And here he is. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Oh, Ralph, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to climb up here to the tippy, tippy top of this ladder right now. All right. Wow, Clooney, you can't, you can't climb that ladder. You're a marionette. Marionettes cannot climb ladders. Oh, oh Ralph, she says, you know what? She says I can't climb that ladder, and you know what? I sure can. I believe you. Okay, all right. Okay, Clooney, let's see. All right. Well, I can. I get a little nervous, but all right, here I go. <clears throat> okay, now, I put my right foot here, I put my left foot here, I put my right foot here, and I shake it all about. Clooney, you better be careful or you might fall. Who? Who me? No way. I won't fall. I put my right foot here. I put my left foot here. I put my right foot here. And I shake it all about. Clooney, be careful or you really will fall. Oh, no, not me. I shake it all about. Uh oh, I think I'm falling. Oh, Clooney, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Oh, Clooney, I told you to be careful. It's lucky you have an extra head for him. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you have an extra head? That's right, he does. Good thing. So, Celia, I want to get up. Oh, come on, Clooney. You can get up all by yourself. Hey, Ralph, would you help him? Would you say, yes, you can, yes, you can. Yes, you can, 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 yes, you can. He did it. Oh, Ralph. Wow. Gee whiz. I really, really thought I was a goner there. Oh, boy. Whoopa, whoopa, whoopa. Oh, golly. Well, Clooney, could you do just one more trick for us that everyone could see your special, special trick? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Shall I, shall I do that? Right? Yeah. Oh, what okay. is your special okay. trick? Okay. Well, now, what I want, I want you, I want you please to count to three. Would you count to three? Okay. Can, can you count to three? Are you smart enough I to count I think I can remember. Okay. One, right. uh, a two, and a three. the matter, Clooney? Uh-oh, I forgot. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, Clooney, you know what, Ralph? He doesn't need to be afraid of heights. I don't? No, because you're a marionette. And you know what? Marionettes are string puppets, and they can fly! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and he really can fly. And String puppets really are magic. Well, in all of this process, I realized that there are two ways to make a puppet show. Yes. Yeah. Come down here and tell oh, me about oh, it. Oh, yeah, let me tell you about it. Well, one way is to make a puppet that does tricks or dances or something like that. The other way, can you imagine what the other way is? It's to find a story. Ah. Aha! And then you make the characters to go into the story. So, I've made two stories. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm oh, just that's jumping right. around. Yes. Two stories, one, Little Red Riding Hood, and Juliana and the North Wind, right. Yes, and we have your cassette here. Yeah. And Which camera am I showing it to? This one. And also, I, with the cassette, I enclose a flyer on how to make a puppet the kids way. How to Make a Puppet and Celia's Marionettes, yep. the stories. And yep. you can get them by contacting Celia at what number? 746-1028. That's in the 201 area code. Right, right. If you want to bring Celia's Marionettes to your school or your birthday party or any other occasion of any kind, right. that's right. where you call. Okay. So let's see just a chapter, like a chapter out of a book, we're going to see a scene out of a play of Little Red Riding Hood. How would that be? That sounds great. Now, would you hand me that set piece? The set piece is something that shows you where the place is, right? Now, when I started this, I knew that I could be an actress, and I knew that I could be a craftsperson, but you know what I didn't know? I didn't know that I could write a song. So, I'm 
wrote a couple of songs for the star of Little Red Riding Hood, who is Little Red Riding Hood, and of course, who is the other main character in Little Red Riding Hood, please? Oh. 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 Okay, <laughs> let's have that song of Little Red Riding Hood that's on the tape, of course. Here she comes. Here is Little Red Riding Hood. Woo. Here she is. And now my so name is Little Red Riding Hood. I live right here in this beautiful wood. I try very, very hard to always be good and do what I should. My mother gives me lots of advice, but she doesn't like to tell me twice. She is so grown up and wise and often uses big words like compromise. She likes for me to stay close by, but oh, sigh, I don't always listen. And when she can't find me, she thinks that I'm missing. I love to play and imagine things and make up words that sound like things. Here is my favorite spot. I like it a lot. Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Here comes Mother now. I will have some fun. Up here I will creep and pretend to be asleep. Ah, so now comes the big bad wolf. And he, of course, is a little bit scary or he wouldn't be a big bad wolf. And here he comes. Ready, everybody? Oh, Whoa. Whoa, there he is. <laughs> I am the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. I am the big bad wolf, 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 wolf. I am hungry, hungry, hungry. I am hungry. Ha 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 ha. I am the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. I am the big bad wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> and that is the wolf. Now, can you just hand me that um, bed there? I right here. Now, this is another set piece. And we're going to do the scene where the wolf comes to Grandma's house. And this is Grandma's bed. Now, I say to the kids, did I go out in the store and buy this bed for Grandma? No, I made it because... You can make things, you really can. Now, where, Grandma, where are you? Here's Grandma. Oh, Celia, I don't want to be on the stage. I have a cold today. Oh, Ralph, I have a cold, and she's making me perform. What will I do? Oh. Well, Grandma, the cameras are rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> show business. Okay, Grandma, <laughs> you just got The show to must do. go on. You know, when I was a costumer, the actors talk back, but now the puppets don't. <laughs> so get in bed, Grandma. <laughs> oh, okay, if you insist, I will. Oh, dear, okay. So now I go back here, and of course we have to change the scene from the woods to Grandma's house, and here we go. Oh, And that now funny? the wolf is, we can do that just barely. Okay, here's the wolf. Oh, all right. Well, we'll just go. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, you're not the wolf. You're not Little Red Riding Hood. You're the wolf. Ow! Da da dum ba ba da dum ba ba da dum ba 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 da dum ba ba. Bum 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 And of course we know that the woodcutter comes and saves the wolf, right? Whew. Woo! I wasn't Woo! sure if it was gonna end that way this time. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't save the wolf, he saves grandma. What am I saying? <laughs> so you know Oh, we gotta go. We just have time to say goodbye. 
Okay. And thank everybody for tuning in to Horses Sing None of It with Celia and her marionettes. And I guess I'm going to play a little banjo tune here. Yeah. And Angelina, the trapeze artist, will swing to his song. Thanks for coming on the show, Celia. You're welcome, Ralph. <laughs> That new dummy cam is great. Yeah, it'll sure give people a whole new outlook on what it's like when you don't wear a safety belt. I think they'll get the picture. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt.